Ross, a 1-0 win over Gaza tonight. You must be delighted with the three points there. Yeah, really pleased with the three points. We, we knew before the game, you know, both sides knew it was a six-pointer. So it's just it's just good to come out, you know, the right end of that. Um, I thought guys, they played some good football at times tonight. I thought they had a lot more of the ball than us, but I do feel we created the best chances. You know, um, Kennedy's had two, he's had the header just for half time to go 2 0, and then he's had the left foot strike there. We've created chances towards the uh, end of the first half as well. But while ever it's 1 0, you know, the, the opponent's always got, uh, you know, hope and, uh, and they never gave up. You know, it was a, a really tough game, some tired bodies in there. A real moment of class as well. You know, perfect start, taking the lead in the first minute, and what a strike from Frank as well. It's an incredible goal. It's a, it's a Wayne Rooney type goal where you just think, nah, surely he's not going to shoot from there, and absolutely flew in. And you know, uh, their keeper Owen Mason's a good keeper, a big keeper as well. So to beat him from there was uh, outstanding. And then backs to the wall a little bit at times. You know, that loaded our box, which you expect at this level long throws um, but they do play some good football as well you know they're, they're a good side I'm surprised they're down there I've watched them four or five times this season uh, but it's about results we, we have to get results um, again I'll, I'll touch on it we've achieved nothing yet you know we've still got seven games left that, that's a you know it's a big step in the right direction but uh, we just said to the lads there and they totally understand and the staff that Nothing's achieved yet. You know we've got to keep going. Um, a really tough one on Saturday against Kettering. They, they've gone and beat York tonight. I think two 0 So we know how difficult that's going to be. They're, they're touching playoffs now. They're on a really good run. Um, enjoy tonight, and then uh, you know we get back to work uh, in pr preparation for Kettering. Yeah, defensively we had to work really hard as a whole unit, but particularly Lewis going up against the pace of Kane Felix. He did really well to keep him reasonably quiet in that second yeah. half in particular. Yeah, didn't I, I thought he was outstanding uh, both halves all the way through the game. Difficult role when you get isolated a little bit 1v1 and uh, he coped with it really, really well, um, You know, along with the rest of the, uh, the back four as well. It's a good team performance again. You know, We show grit, determination. Sometimes you have to forget about the quality side of, of the football. It's about rolling your sleeves up and, and grafting and working and fighting and scrapping, and uh, we've done that tonight. And it's you know we've ground out a one 0 win. David came in, in uh, as the number one tonight. Can you explain why he did that and what you thought of his performance? Not really. I have to sort of justify the decisions I make. I thought it was the, it was the, just the right time to, to put him in. I think uh, you know I, I spoke to Kyle. Um, you know they've got to fight fight for the shirt now, and hopefully that brings the best out of both of them. And, and Kyle's done really well. Um, I just think bringing David in as well, taking him out of that sort of little bubble. I think Kyle's, you know, knows everything about this this type of game. Where I think David would have, you know, just been that bit more calm re regarding the game. But uh, no, two good keepers uh, along with uh, Reese as well as a as a young one coming through. Yeah, and, you know, with the injuries to Dave and Sam, you know, Jean did it at the weekend. He slotted into midfield again today how do you think he did and he's clearly settling in well as we saw with the uh, celebrations at the end yeah he's uh, he's coming and settling well uh, good reports on him uh, as a person not just as a player you know and he's adapted well to, to that role you know we we did look at playing a 3-5-2 you know sort of you know round pegs round holes type thing but uh, you know the lads have been comfortable with the back four so um, right decision but yeah I thought he was excellent in there along with uh, you know along with the rest of the team it was a, a good team performance is it just about kicking on now? Obviously, it's just one defeat in the last six in the league. Now is it moving on? You know, we've got another home game on Saturday, which is where we've been particularly strong of late as well. Yeah, it's just taking it one game at a time. I think that's all we got to do. We know how difficult this one is. Saturday, they're the, they're the form team at the moment. They're, they're big and strong and powerful. Um, you know, like I say to, to beat York City, that's a, a big scout for them tonight. A big Southport uh, on Saturday as well. We both with clean sheets. Um, you know. Enjoy tonight, and then we'll, you know, we'll regroup and, uh, and focus on them, ready for Saturday.